Welcome back to Central News. With the sweet taste and aroma of vanilla bean in the air, Tauranga Business Case led Central News to Hey Lala Vanilla at Newham Park in Tapuna. Hey Lala Vanilla is grown in the island of Tonga with the first vanilla crop harvested in 2005. Since then, it continues to soar among chefs and specialty shops. Director Jennifer Bogus tells Central News how it began and how it fits in with the Tauranga business case, even though the product is grown overseas. It all started with my dad. He fell in love with uh, the islands of Vavau in the northern group of islands in Tonga. Uh, there was a cyclone that went through there in 2002 and he'd been up there spearfishing. And when the cyclone came through, he sent some money up to the family that he got to know quite well to repair their roof, and then he realised the damage was a lot more widespread and extensive. So he got together a group of colleagues from his Rotary Club, and they sent up, they accompanied a container up there of building materials and things, and did a whole lot of rebuilding. And they've been going every year since, which is now about 10 years. Uh, and so after the second trip, the chief of the village said to him, we've got this spare land and we've got young people that you know, haven't got much to do and what do you think we could grow and so it went from there really and so Dad went and travelled the world and looked at other vanilla plantations and it was decided vanilla. So we planted in 2003 and 2005 he brought the first 40 kilos of vanilla beans back to New Zealand. And it's just escalated from there. Yeah, so my husband and I um, are based in Tauranga obviously at that stage and we liked food and wine and going to restaurants so we took it to a local restaurant and they were blown away by the quality because a lot of vanilla in the world goes through about sort of 10 sets of hands before it actually gets to the restaurant or the, the home cook and um, yeah they were just blown away by the freshness and the quality so yeah we took it from there really. How does it work well having your base here in Tauranga but the vanilla grown in Tonga? So it's a true partnership, South Pacific partnership. Uh, vanilla grows 20 degrees the other side of the equator, um, so obviously it couldn't be grown here commercially, although we do have a small plantation at our home in Tapuna, um, just so that we can sort of research the, the plant and also offer um, photos for media and things. Um, but, it, you know, it, it, it works because that's where vanilla's grown, but it can't be processed and marketed from there, and that's what we do here in Tauranga is all the processing, product development, um, packaging and shipping and things. How does Heilala Vanilla fit in well with the Tauranga business case 4Ps, people, profit, place and potential? Uh, I think the two main ones are people and place. Uh, people would be the networks that we've formed with local uh, export based businesses and particularly those in food. So our, our network for food technology, which is all of our product developments, were really formed um, through contacts that we had at Zespri um, and their food technology team, so that led us to Massey University. And um, the place, we're based here in Newnham Park, which is a, a group of horticultural, innovative horticultural businesses, um, which also happens to be quite close to our home, so that's got a lifestyle advantage as well. So it's great to be surrounded by like-minded, innovative businesses in the same sort of industry. And how does Hala Vanilla f fit in well with your lifestyle here in the Bay? Uh, well, we've got two daughters, um, so you know it's where we live is close to our work, close to school, um, and it's close enough to Auckland and Wellington to to be you know in meetings and things, and you can do day trips. Um, but at, without having to live in a big city, so you know we prefer it. <laughs> we used to live in Auckland and moved here about um, ten years ago. Now you've won a number of awards for various products. What do you believe has been key to your success? Um, I think it's all down to research and development and product innovation. Obviously, when we first started and we you know had these vanilla beans, we pretty quickly realised that we needed to d develop a whole range of 100% pure vanilla products. There was no one else in New Zealand that you know, we could do benchmarking against or anything. So we went, to, you know, we got the contact at Massey University. So that's sort of been instrumental in all our product development and, and working with them. So each year we uh, have a number of projects with them in all sorts of areas. And the fact that the vanilla is grown in Tonga and it doesn't go through so many hands, that sets you apart from the rest? Yeah, so exactly. So our, we're globally unique. We don't think there's another vanilla company in the world that we're aware of that actually 
both grows their vanilla, produces it and um, markets it. So what support is there in our region for your products? Um, well obviously you know we started here with local chefs seeing you know what they thought of our vanilla beans and then when we've had new products we've you know sampled it with them and trialled and things so and obviously we're in local retailers. To find out more about Heilala Vanilla and their products head to their website heilalavanilla.co.nz. After the break we find out about breast cancer treatments. <laughs>